वेलकम टू माई व्यूज इन न्यूज सेवल न्यूज स्टोरीज फॉर यू फर्स्टली बोले हो रहा वेस्ट गुजी टेंशन स्प्रेडिंग इन द सिटी एज बिशिप्स अपॉइंटेड बाय द स्प्लेंटर फैक्शन और अराइविंग इन बोले हेरा पी बोले हो रहा पीपल टेकिंग टू द स्ट्रीट्स city seems to be divided secondly ethiopian orthodox church has contacted 23 influential ethiopians to play the role of mediators will they be mediators between the church and the government or the church faction of abune matius and the church faction led by abune serios details for you uh what is church's position abune petros was interviewed by a news outlet a few hours ago uh third levels referendum is being held in southern ethiopia referendum uh, was being opposed by at least two zones but referendum is ongoing people are casting their votes details for you and fourthly tigray where tigray uh, police and tigray civilian uh, administration is being uh, put in place in some areas which were under the control of uh, irati and military and ethiopian national defense force uh, tigray police is now taking charge they are reportedly and lastly somali land wars heavy fighting is ongoing in lassanud sul region a few weeks ago there was heavy fighting in the city and once again we are seeing the resumption of fighting fighting erupted uh, hours uh, before uh, influential uh, dalbahatne tribe was going to issue a statement after a week long conference held in lassanud about the future of lassanud sul region details for you firstly viewers uh, bole hora sadan oromia west guji zone where tensions are rising people taking to the streets new bishops are arriving uh, in bolehra bishops appointed by the orthodox splinter faction led by abunesarios uh, zina morcos and evastotios the city is divided some are supporting the splinter faction bishops and some are supporting the bishops already appointed by abune matius group uh, university students are split to uh, split uh, divisions being seen at uh, the university tensions are rising security forces trying to control the situation but we know that uh, security forces are siding with the splinter faction Uh, like we saw in shashamane where church says 35 were killed in confrontation between security forces and orthodox followers and some of the killed were policemen too so police men lost their lives to at least four or five i think uh, and orthodox believers lost their lives uh, mainly in shashamane Uh, let's hope that uh, shashamane massacre is not repeated in bolehra bolehra people's lives should be respected tensions there will try to update you in coming videos about bolehra uh, romia uh, region based new uh, splinter faction has taken control of several dioceses in romia they were seen in burana to now they are in uh, bolehra they have taken east valaga west valaga uh, rc and now they are targeting uh, guji secondly words orthodox church led by abune matius has appointed 23 mediators to resolve the ongoing conflict within the church uh, 
in the previous video, I shared with you a statement of uh, the church defending Derarto Tolo, that Derarto, what she is doing, uh, it is uh, uh, in uh, agreement with the church. Uh, and now a letter is being shared showing that church has uh, appointed or church has asked 23 influential Ethiopians from all walks of life to play their role in the resolution of this conflict. The 23 uh, Ethiopians include three women. Uh, and there are top names uh, in this list like... Uh, Germa Wake, former CEO of Ethiopian Airlines, uh, is there. Secondly, uh, Samuel Tafase, Sunshine Construction Company owner. Daniel Jyote, uh, head of uh, Patriots Association. Uh, obviously, there are the Tolo there. Heli Gabriel Selassie, the athlete there. There are several top Ethiopians from all walks of life. Now, question is, what is the mandate of this committee? 23 member committee. Will this committee talk to the government or to the splinter faction based in Romeo? The church says that it wants uh, uh, government to stop uh, state repression, state action, state-backed killings and massacres of the dog's followers and that the new faction must withdraw from newly uh, controlled churches in Romeo and that uh, the new faction elders uh, should come to church to apologize. So these are three conditions uh, laid out by the church uh, which I shared uh, yesterday as well. Mainly uh, the committee will play dual role I think. It will talk to the government, asking the government uh, to show flexibility. At the same time, it will talk to the splinter faction to convince them to apologize. That is what church wants, it seems. Has any progress been made? We don't know. Uh, but only confirmation is that church is confirming the uh, formation of this 23 member committee of negotiators, facilitators, mediators. While Abune Petros, uh, the church, uh, Holy Synod Secretary General was interviewed a few hours ago, he took uh, a very strong position. He said uh, those who made appointments are illegal uh, group. They are no more part of the church. Their titles revoked. They should apologize to the church first. Uh, church law was violated. Issue can only be solved through respect for canonical law, church law. So he in a way ruled out the possibility of direct talks between the church and the other church led by Abune Matthias and the other faction led by Abune Serios. So, it means that uh, this uh, mediation has limited chances of success because church uh, or synod are not treating the other party as equivalent. They, they don't want to talk to them. They say they, they should come to them and apologize, which is not uh, going to happen, it seems. But uh, obviously, church is showing some flexibility, I think, uh, that... Uh, in a way, it has appointed a committee of uh, uh, negotiators, though largely church's position is the same, uh, but the committee of negotiators might be able to get some concessions on both sides. Let's hope that the two sides uh, and the government too show some flexibility. Thirdly, was referendum is being held in southern Zone of Ethiopia in SNNPR, six zones and five special voredas uh, are the places where this referendum is being held today. More than three million voters will cast their ballots. Voting already underway. 
uh, one question do they support establishment of a new regional state or not if they support then these uh, six zones and five oradas will become a separate regional state of ethiopia another regional state like we saw that sidama was formed then uh, southwest region was created now another regional state uh, the six zones are Konso, South Omo, uh, Vlaita, Gamo, Gadio, Gofa. And uh, five special waradas are Burji, Biskato, Ale, Amaro, Dirashe. We know that some sections within Vlaita community, they have been opposing this referendum. Both Vulaitas and Guragis, they have been struggling for years for separate regional states along ethnic lines. They want uh, Vulaita and Gurage regional states like there are Amhara, Tigray regional states and Oromia. But Ethiopian government has been resisting the creation of new regional states along ethnic lines. That is why Vulaita is uh, going to be made part of this new regional state. It uh, won't be a separate regional state. And we know that uh, protests were held in Vulaita and Gurage a few days ago, a few weeks ago, after the announcement of referendum. And then a command post was established there to control the law and order situation. Uh, let's see what happens. Uh, I think uh, government is backing the referendum, so we could see majority of people uh, supporting uh, the result. By the way, uh, SNPR is being split into small regional states. So, Sidama, Southwest, uh, now new regional state. There are other uh, regions as well, which are big regions. Why aren't they being split into small uh, administrative units like Oromia? Maybe Amhara too, uh, Oromia, Amhara, large region, especially Oromia. Uh, but we are not hearing any uh, mention of need for creation of smaller units uh, in Oromia. Other uh, regions are being split into a small region, small units. Uh, same is the case with Amhara as well, large region. It could be split into at least three uh, units, I think. Uh, thirdly, we uh, Tegarai, uh, Tegarai Regional Forces, Tegarai Police, uh, Tegarai Regional Departments are taking over the new territories vacated by Eritrean Army and Ethiopian National Defense Force. It has been confirmed by a Tigray government official. His name is Sinait Mebrato. Uh, dozens of vehicles of Tigray regional government and Tigray police have been seen arriving in Aksom. Aksom was under the control of Eritrean Army and Ethiopian National Defense Force. Now, Civilian setup led by Tigray regional government is being put in place in central and northwestern Tigray. Tigray police is going to start its work in Aksom, in other parts of uh, northwestern and central Tigray. A confirmation that Iraqi military has withdrawn. Uh, has it withdrawn altogether? Where is it located now? Because uh, where is the position now? Because uh, there are border issues too between Tigray and uh, Eritrea. So we're waiting for some report from Africa Union observers. Overall, it's a very positive development that now Tigray regional administration is going to take charge in the areas which were under the control of federal forces and Eritrean army. Lastly, your Somaliland, self-declared country in the Horn of Africa, where heavy fighting is ongoing uh, in Lassanu city. Resumption of fighting because a few days ago there was heavy clashes. There were heavy clashes in the city between locals and Somaliland regional forces. Several were killed back then. I did some videos uh, and uh, locals. Uh, uh, the Bahante tribe uh, elders, they support uh, the 
zone, uh, Sul zone, uh, Lassanul city to be part of Somalia. This uh, conflict has been ongoing for years and uh, we know that uh, there are five main tribes in Somali land. Uh, Dilbahante is one of them, Isaac is another. This tribe held a week, Dilbahante tribe has a, had a week long conference in Lassanud from the 28th of January till the 5th of February, Dilbahante tribal elders met in Lassanu city and uh, they uh, were going to make an announcement about the future status of Dilbahante. Uh, this morning, uh, a declaration is being shared in the social media. Uh, they are supporting the zone, uh, Sul zone, Lassanu city to be part of Somalia. Before the announcement of the declaration, Somali lands forces entered Lassanu city. Heavy fighting is ongoing in several places in Lassanu city. These minutes between Somali land security forces and uh, Locals, uh, tribal elders are there too, Delbahante tribe fighters there too and some say Isaac tribe fighters, uh, they have been encircling the city uh, since yesterday because they were expecting that Delbahante would uh, announce that the zone, the city should be part of Somalia. So it's... Uh, a clash between uh, Dilbahante and Isaac, Dilbahante and uh, Somali lands, security forces, alarming development. Several were killed a few days ago. Once again, if there is no solution, we could see the same. Back then, if you remember, Somali lands government had accused uh, neighboring uh, Somalia's uh, regions of interfering in. Uh, Lassanud uh, and uh, the other side accused uh, some some factions uh, accused Djibouti as well that Djibouti was supporting Musi Bay of these governments. So there are several uh, players in this conflict so far. Heavy fighting is being reported in Lassanud city. Lassanud city residents, this uh, tribe, Dalbahante, want federal government of Ethiopia to take control of territories of uh, the Sanul Sul, but how will it happen? It will lead to direct confrontation between Somali land security forces and Somalia's security forces. Somalia's forces are not involved in this conflict. Only locals are involved, but if this conflict spreads, we could see involvement of Somalia's federal and regional forces too. Thank you for watching.